What's up, social media? We black. We black. We black at y'all ass again. Okay, we on the BitConnect form. Damn, not form. I mean the uh, dashboard here. I kind of been cheating, guys. I've, I've already done a reinvest. Just ain't had time. I made the video, but shit, I ain't want to upload it. I'm too tired. But we got uh, $3.86 in there. And we've done a reinvest already. Hold on, y'all. One second. You know how it is. You got to have some music. Black folk got to have that music. You know how we do. That might be too loud. I got a new game plan. I'm doing. After I reinvest, I take the leftovers. I'm putting it over here in the Big Connect box. Shit. You know. Big Connect going up so good, man. $105. So we've been doing good. I've already logged in earlier. Let's go to transactions. Just going to keep y'all updated for the POFO. This is this is Big Connect POFO. This Big Connect, Big Connect for the poor folks who don't have that much money. You got guys around here putting thousands of dollars in. This is the poor man, no referrals. Apparently, I ain't getting no damn referrals. Let's see here. We got paid. We got 1.71 interest rate coming in tonight off of my $110 loan. We getting closer and closer to that Bentley, baby. We getting closer and closer to that Bentley. Dollar and 88 cents. How many times I got paid today? Mmm, mmm, mmm. That money coming in good. Coming in good, guys. That's my reinvestment. 18 cents, not bad. 1.71%. We doing good. So the money's still coming in strong. A lot of y'all optimistic, man. But you got to have something out there pulling some money in for you. And what I'm going to start doing, man, I'm going to start, like I said, I'm going to start pulling some money over here in the BitConnect wallet. I'm going to go ahead and probably, uh, once I get to like $10 or $12, I'm going to reinvest the $10, bring the 2 over to the BitConnect wallet. So I'm going to be kind of doing two things at once. I'm going to be still reinvesting, but I'm going to be putting some little bit over into my BitConnect wallet. So that way I'm I'm pulling a little capital out at the same time. My capital ain't much to get out. All I got to get out is about $310. So once I do that, I, be, I feel a lot, be, you know, a lot better with this BitConnect thing. And I'm not really worried about it, man, because I'm kind of a, I'm a businessman on my own. I have a few businesses of my own. I have a trucking company that I own. So I kind of know how things work from a business standpoint. And uh, I also know how criminals work. Okay. I used to do a little criminalizing back in the day. I used to hang with criminals. I know how criminals think. You don't cancel. And this is for my people who are still talking about Ponzi scheme and all this stuff. And it very well could be. Uh, I don't know what the hell it could be. But all I do is I know this. I know I'm getting my little money every day, okay? This ain't like Genesis Mining where they ain't getting their damn money every other day. But uh, getting money every day. Now, you have to have, see, I'm from, I'm not from the streets. I'm actually from the good side of town. But I used to hang with the streets. You have to know how the streets think. You have to know how criminals think. I've hung with criminals. Uh, I never really did criminalize. I just hung with criminals, but. I hung with smart people. Hell, I hang with everybody. But you don't. This is what the people still think is a Ponzi scheme. But I ain't going to make this video too long. You don't kill something that's working. Okay? You don't kill something that's working. When, the day I worry about BitConnect is the day. Let me go here, y'all. The day I worry about BitConnect. Damn. How you do that? Oh. This this is when I worry about Big Connect. Okay. You see Big Connect in the 14th spot. 7.81%. Mm. Look at that market capitalization. Look at that. Look at the price going up. You remember in school, you remember your mom or dad told you, don't worry about people talking about you. Only worry about people. When they stop talking about you. 
See, while you still relevant and people are talking about you, you kind of in that little safe group zone. I'm not worrying about BitConnect until people stop talking about you. As long as people are talking about Bit, put yourself in, if you was a scammer, put yourself in BitConnect shoes. They looking at the laptop just like we looking. You think BitConnect people aren't watching these YouTube videos like we are? BitConnect probably has more uh, supporters behind it than anything other than Genesis Mining. And uh, I know they're all referral based. People trying to get their referrals up. But still, they still making money, man. You know, Genesis Mining, they got videos of actual places. Put damn uh, Bitcoin in it. See, I got a little Bitcoin. I got a little Ripple. Man, I'm going to talk about this Ripple, too, man. I want to make a video about this Ripple. Everybody's talking trash about Ripple. But once again, man, you have to have that street mentality or that common sense. You got to know how the government works, man. People tell me, oh, I don't want to invest in Ripple because Ripple is, is uh, well, I'm going to do a video on Ripple, man. I'm talking about Ripple is, 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 is bank, bank crypto and, hey, shit, it, 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 if you think fiat currency and the government going anywhere time in your lifetime, you're a damn fool. I'm heavily invested in Ripple. Because once again, I have that business mindset. You don't make money off of the informed, okay? You have to work, you have to realize how this government and capitalism is set up. You don't make money off of smart, educated people in the know. You make money off of what? People you can do predatory, uh well, damn, my mind messed up and drink too much blood like. You make money off of people when you can um, take advantage of them, okay? Look at all the big crashes that ever happened. Predatory lending, uh, banks and Golden Sachs and shit, okay? All those people took advantage of people who were not necessarily in the know, okay? The crypto community is a very educated community. You're always going to have Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum and you know, NIM and, you know, IOTA, NEO, shit, we know about that stuff, but this crypto is for the, the, the Ill, Ill informed, uninformed. This is the people's crypto. This is the people that don't know no better. This is their crypto the bank's going to use, okay? They're going to stay in business. Big banking ain't going nowhere, baby. Big banking going to be here forever, baby. Well, maybe not forever, but in our lifetime, trust me. I found out about crypto through gold and silver. Fiat currency is going to be in our lifetime, guys, okay? If you plan on waking up in the morning and got them dollar gone, you, 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 you sadly misinformed. Ripple is the people's champ. Trust me. I'm heavily, I'm heavily big balling in Ripple, baby. I believe in Ripple. I love Ripple because I know Ripple is the, is the crypto or not necessarily Ripple, Crypto like Ripple is going to be for the uninformed community, okay? For the people, the banks are still going to find a way to leverage themselves into this, this crypto universe through uh, vessels like Ripple, okay? When you understand the people, when you understand big banks and fiat currency are still going to be here for the people who are uninformed, then you will start to understand the importance of a, of a currency like Ripple. The two can coexist together. Fiat currency can coexist with the crypto community. Just because people out here spending that watered down dollar, just because people out here spending that damn dollar that don't have no weight behind it doesn't mean the crypto community can't survive. Crypto gonna be here. It's gonna be more valuable. You're gonna be able to buy and do all this stuff like you normally can do with fiat currency. You still got people today that's going into places paying bills. With this younger generation, we know to go online, pay it online, set up accounts. You still got old folks who don't even know how to pay bills and don't even know how to buy stuff online, okay? You think they're going to be living in a, a, a digital age when, shit, they ain't even in a digital age now to use stuff. Hell, my mom's still going to the damn, I try to tell my mom all the time, won't you set up stuff online to pay your bill? She's still mailing checks and shit off. They losing checks and stuff like that, but God, Ripple's the people champ, man. People champ. But look here, this video, this was supposed to be our reinvest video. I get off the talk. Might do me another little video on Ripple. Hold on, how you go back to it?
Let's go back to my money, baby. Let's check the interest rate for tomorrow. We're going to get off this video. We're going to cut it short. We're going to go to... Uh, I get stuck for a minute, y'all. Dashboard. There you go. Check the interest rate for tomorrow. And that's going to be it, baby. That's it. Woo! Big payday tomorrow, baby. Mmm. Mmm. 1.59%, baby. Pending. We getting up there now. All right. Holler at your boy. Peace.